Hi, my name is Dave Doherty. I play Officer Miranda in A Mother's Will. Um, some of the things that uh, stick out of my mind of doing the shoot was actually being in the penitentiary. Um, it had come full circle for me because working for all those years on the other side of uh, the, the cages, now I got to feel what it would be like. And I always envision what it's like for a prisoner to uh, walk those blocks, sit in those cells, um, and my scene had to do with uh, talking about uh, a confession and uh, trying to coerce a confession out of an individual. Um, doesn't go too far from what I did uh, downtown with the Sheriff's Department, even though I didn't do uh, actual confessions. It was more like execution of law. To give you an example of what the difference between working as a Philly Sheriff and a Philly Police Officer, Philly Police Officer interprets the law. If you make a right on red, he pulls you over, gives you a ticket, you got a chance to go to court and see if that interpretation is correct. Philadelphia Sheriff, on the other hand, executes the law. It's already been decided. We take property off of people, we uh, enforce injunctions, and we move bodies. So I had a lot of hands-on experiences with bodies. I'd say in my 33-year career, I've handled over 33,000 prisoners. And when I say handle, I actually put my hands on them, put my cuffs on them. I've dealt with everything from uh, mafiosa, um, uh, little Nicky and Crazy Phil Leonetti to uh, serial killers, uh, Marty Graham and uh, Gary Heidnick. Um, so I had a hands-on experience of what it would be like uh, to be a police officer. It's a little bit different when, when you're playing a police officer because obviously you have a dialogue that you have to uh, deliver correctly to, uh, to tell the story. So those are some of the constraints, but it has the same feel because the individual is in a precarious situation where they're in lockup. And um, in this instance, I was trying to get that confession out of him and um, not threatening but giving him uh, the lay of the land if he didn't participate with uh, the confession that he would uh, stand uh, to uh, do a lot of time and one of the things that goes not only in my career but in that role was uh, it's serious business for individuals a lot of times we see on film uh, you know a person committing a crime or going to jail and then they'll break for commercial or they'll go to another scene but the reality of the situation is when you're in that uh, environment there is no commercial break there is no another scene you're in jail you're gonna sit there for a long period of time the realization of some of these young guys that are acting like thugs or hoodlums or you know they want to be tough guys until the uh, the actual door of the, uh, of the cell slams and when we were in the uh, Missouri State Penitentiary I did that a couple times because that always resonates with me the sound of the door just banging behind you and what that would feel like I remember we were in uh, uh, one area of the penitentiary that was a solitary confinement and if you closed the door in the solitary confinement it was completely black and they had this individual that did this solitary confinement for a number of years I think it was 10 15 years the guy had lit a fire in uh, Missouri State Penitentiary and it killed a number of people. So they put him in this uh, solitary confinement. How he kept his sanity about him was he took a button off his shirt and he would throw it across the area, the blackened room, and then he would search for that button and that would take up his time. And the reason we know about that button incident is because he eventually got paroled. I think it was in the 20s or 30s and he wrote a book and he talked about all those things. But to walk into that cell and close that door behind you and have that pitch blackness there and, and put yourself in that environment, even if it's for 10 minutes, is a pretty, pretty, um, you know, a harrowing experience just to be there. So we got to feel that when we were in the Missouri State Penitentiary. And when we were doing the scenes in there, you can almost feel the spirits of ghost past Apparently, uh, talking to some of the caretakers, the Missouri State Penitentiary is haunted. And uh, one of the individuals was uh, a former guard there, and he was telling us the stories of the, uh, the haunted uh, environments. 
that uh, would go in there. It was interesting to do all that and then and to feel all that. Our shoot was uh, about a week long, but uh, it, was, it, was, it was something to be there and uh, a memory I'll never forget.